Mobile Housing Authority continuing to try to nudge people out of Thomas James Place and RV Taylor Plaza. That's because most of the houses in both communities are going to be targets for the wrecking ball. And now the Housing Authority is offering a new option. That would be a motel room. Our Brendan Kirby is here with more. All right, Brendan, so tell us how this motel room would work, huh? Well, Byron and Lenise, people who take this option would continue to pay the rent they do now, and then the Housing Authority will pick up the rest of the cost for that motel. This is one of a couple different temporary options that residents have while they search for permanent housing. Every question is important. We want to help you through this process. Mobile Public Housing Authority Executive Director Michael Pierce meeting Monday with residents of RV Taylor Plaza and Thomas James Place. It's part of a long process of helping them find new living arrangements. Pierce says there are about 135 remaining households, down from 326 when the Housing Authority started this process. The agency is giving vouchers that residents can use to rent apartments in the private market, but that can be expensive and residents say they've had trouble finding places. Pierce says there are other options. The authority is renovating 50 units in other public housing complexes, and it's contracted with extended stay motels. We have 20 units that individuals could take advantage of. Again, it's just temporary until we find a more permanent situation for them utilizing their voucher. The Housing Authority is selling most of the land, along with the now vacant Boykin Tower. But it will hold on the 37 acres between Michigan Avenue and Kellogg Street, with plans to renovate or build 193 units. Current residents will have first shot at those, but Pierce says that it will be two or three years before they're ready. The Mobile Airport Authority has expressed interest in buying the rest of the property. Executive Director Chris Curry says that it could be home to warehouses, trucking companies, and other airport-related businesses. It'll just be an extension of our complex uh, where we have a lot of logistical uh, light industrial businesses. Curry says construction should start by the end of the year on a new terminal at the Mobile International Airport. He says things are on track for the new airport to open by November 2025. Meanwhile, time is running out for people like Lucy Thames, who has lived at Thomas James Place for more than 20 years. I'm going to leave. Uh, yes, I don't know where we'll to move to. The deadline is December, but Pierce says no one will be evicted as long as they're continuing to pay rent and are working with caseworkers to find new quarters. We want to give them options. Uh, and so we've given them some options to consider, and so hopefully they'll take advantage of those options. Now, if you live in RV Taylor or Thomas James Place and didn't get a chance to come to this morning's meeting, there's another one this afternoon at about 6 at the Boys and Girls Club off of Michigan Avenue. Reporting live from the News Center, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.